The FCC, which has hosted public figures and newsmakers since it was founded in 1943, said it would press ahead with the luncheon speech titled A Politically Incorrect Guide to Hong Kong Under Chinese Rule. I'm worried that someone may interfere or try to stop me from speaking, he said. Hong Kong's mini-constitution, the Basic Law, states that the former British colony, which returned to Chinese rule in 1997, is an inalienable part of China. But Hong Kong operates under a one-country, two systems agreement that promises it a high degree of autonomy and freedoms not enjoyed in China. Around 50 Beijing loyalists rallied outside the colonial-era FCC building, where parts of the narrow pavement were sealed off with metal barricades. Some protesters waved China flags and held up banners reading, Conspiracy to split HK from China, while others shouted, Oppose independence and FCC, get out of Hong Kong. We must get rid of the FCC. We hope the Hong Kong government ends its lease, said Jimmy Tso of a group called Together Heart Protect Hong Kong. Chen's speech comes a year after Chinese President Xi Jinping warned that any attempt to challenge China's national sovereignty crosses a red line. Several dozen police stood guard near the building in the heart of the city's central district, while at least five police vehicles parked on the street. Four groups had sought police permission to protest outside the club, including the Defend Hong Kong campaign, which planned to condemn the FCC for promoting Hong Kong independence, said a notice posted on the Hong Kong police website. China's foreign ministry, which has an office in Hong Kong, this month urged the club to cancel the event. Lung Chun Ying, a former Hong Kong chief executive who is now vice chairman of a leading advisory body to China's parliament, this month criticized the FCC on Facebook for hosting a secessionist. He said the club paid token rent to the government for its century-old heritage building in the central business district, comments that stoked concerns among some members about the FCC's future. In an August 6 statement, the FCC said, We believe that in free societies such as Hong Kong it is vitally important to allow people to speak and debate freely, even if one does not agree with their particular views. Democracy advocates have bristled against China's perceived attempts to tighten control over the city and to limit its freedoms and democratic reforms.